Hello everybody and welcome to Tentalica, game number 13 against Chaos. Do have three journeymen, so may have the TV advantage in this game. Um, yep, so we've got eight players, because everyone's died. Strength four, best if I go, with block. Block might blow claw pest to go. I think I should have taken piling on, I really do, because at this... This, um, this is really, really poor, you know, basically... I wanted the reliability because Nurgle suck, but piling on Claw Pom is so much better than Claw Mighty Blow. It's ridiculous. And then um, I block Nurgle Warrior because all my Nurgle Warriors keep dying. And um, I do have the higher TV. So what does he have here? He's only got two Warriors. That's good, isn't it? He's got a Juggernaut Mino, which could take over the turn. He's got Prickfagor. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. He's got Prick Fagor. Well, he's almost as good as Best Fagor. And um he's got a tackler, which I can understand, but I don't I don't like. Not when you haven't got block. And he's got block on one of his um one of his things. Holy shit, he's got prick fagors. Uh, he's won three, lost two. Have his wins come by concession? Yep. And yep. And no, he won one game fair and square, and he's conceded one, and he's won two. So three out of his five games have ended in concession. That is the Champions Ladder Season 2. <laughs> yep, thanks, pseudonym. <laughs> Prick Fagos, what a name. <laughs> Um, probably not V Power VV, no, because you're at the it, it everything tops everything scales back a lot after thirty. Um after thirty games. The league ends after eleven games, von Steinberg. Steinberg, whatever it is. Um and a draw is half a loss. So Yeah, there's a few five five wins and a draw, but yeah, you need to be almost perfect. It is brutal. Prick Fagor and Prickly Grind is funny as well, but Prick Fagor is great, isn't it? I love I love the Fagors in um, this. I guess I've got to receive, haven't I? And um, just beat him up. No, it seems to be the play. <laughs> I tell you what, Best Fagor and and Mash Fagors are gonna are so much better than Prick Fagors. <laughs> Prick Fagor, <laughs> fucking brilliant. <laughs> I'm obviously going to beeline for his Mino here if I can with um, Mash Fagors. This actually seems a decent matchup, doesn't it, for this team? Actually, seems basically fair. Oh, he's got a 12th man, that's why his team seems a bit weaker. Actually, basically almost out strength. We've got equal strength, don't we? Um, when you add it up, I've got two strength, four. Like. I've got two more strength four, but he's got one strength five, so we basically have the same strength. The only thing he's got the reserve, but I've got actual skills. Oh, I've got more strength, so we're up to five strength four. So I'd strength him, and I've got more damage dealing skills. And the same rerolls, so this seems a decent matchup. Um, yeah. The end of the season plays out the top four out of 144 teams go through the playoffs. But, as Jellyel says, it's more about getting top two in your group if possible. Um, yeah, you know, that's that's obviously aim number one is to is to get in the top two of your group and make it through at the Premiership for the second season. Um, but in the UK, f yeah, the top four of 144. So it's it's ridiculous to, to make the playoffs. It's not really a realistic ambition. But then I have started 6-0. I mean, that's why I took Undead, so that I would maybe have the chance of it. And then obviously I have won six in a row, so there is the, there is a slim chance of it. Um, but it's gonna, obviously going to be tough. Um, no doubt about that. Oh 
I've got a block here, haven't I? That's, that's pretty nice. I guess I want to have... Not really um, frenzy traps, but frenzy things here. Little bit of protection against the... So, I always set up this guy. If he's going to blitz, I always set him up behind the LOS so that if he gets a blitz, he can't hit him with a blitz. That's that's a, that's a pro tip there, I guess, if you want. I always make sure that that's the case. Um, and I guess, actually, he can go here. And then he can go here so that if he gets a bl if he gets a blitz, hopefully he can't get the ball too easily. And we've still got a bit of cover against frenzies. The team has no beast pseudonym because he's just too much team value. He's just absolutely too too much. If I had a beast this game, he would have a wizard. Um and more likely than that, I would just be matched against a better team. Um and seeing as Nurgle absolutely suck, you don't really want to be matched against a better team. I can move him forward and hit one of them, but it's not really going to work, is it? At low TV, the beast is the beast is like a thousand TV. The beast is the best thing because he just lets you make dumb, um, dumb three dice block blitzes with mighty blow. Oh, brilliant! I mean, I, I can't hesitate to reroll double skulls there because it's my my best player going down or getting a removal, isn't it? I mean, there's no there's no choice to be made there. Normally, I'd think about it um, with Nurgle, with the limited rerolls. But when it's when it's somebody like that, you gotta you gotta have a bit of common sense, haven't you? No, you can get him out. Block him, don't I? Push does indeed suck a bit. I think now the next thing, I want to move him over here so that he can come here and assist. But I guess the ball's pretty safe. But it won't be if I move these guys. So I've got to pick this up before I move him across. And also I've got to move I've got to have the ball before I can move him across. So I've got I've got to go for the pickup next. I think. Now that means he can come here. He can go here. I guess this is a better one because if it was a both down or a double skull, I've still got my strength falling to it. Um, meanwhile, this guy can then come in front of him so that if he gets rid of this guy, he can't pressure. It seems okay. It seems a good first turn, really. Two stuns and a KO. If Nurgle sucks, why are you playing them? Because, um... Oh, VIP jam fagors. Um, best fagor casual six, yeah, of course. Um, I'm no good suck while you're playing them because eventually they get good, basically, pseudonym. At 1000 TV, Nurgle are absolutely terrible. And the, the beast man, the beast of Nurgle is the only. Getting three dice with mighty blow blocks with a beast is your only form of power in the whole team. And by having more strength than your other team gives you an advantage. 
But now, at this team value, because I, I can drop the beast, because my advantage comes from having a Claw Mighty Blow Blitzer, which obviously I could do with Chaos much better, but at least at least I've got that crutch rather than um, the crutch of the beast. I don't need the crutch of the beast. Wow, he's just he's just abandoning defense. What team? It depends, Pedro Jack. It just depends. Um, it just depends. It absolutely entirely depends. Like you would think about sixteen hundred ish, but it depends how you how you build them. You know how how what players. Once this guy has piling on, they'll they'll become decent. Um, but you know, also if if I get three, if I have four block guard, Noga warriors, they become decent. So All right, this is actually too far for him to go now, isn't it? No, he can go there and come back. He's still got one square left. One, two, three, four, five, and then back one. Yeah. Oh, he uses his block, though. Alright. I don't want the, um... The block guys to get hit unnecessarily. You know, if he, if he decides to blitz with his Mino there. Pretty safe, um, pretty safe thing, I think. Now I've got loners getting punched or weaker, weaker warriors. Um, I did indeed win Will King 15. Yep, so 6 and 0 now. Top of the league. I think there's one other team on 6 and 0 and one team on 5 and 0. So of course that guy gets killed. Maybe I should have dodged him out. But um you know, you never know he might have he might have double scold and used a reroll in which case it's great. I mean, I guess it, blocking him is 75% to put me down. If I dodge, I'm only 33% to go down, so I probably should have dodged. But there you go, I didn't. There's a big. This is what I think Ducky should have done in the finals. You know, this this is kind of what I was expecting from Ducky, keeping his team like this in one big, one big um, formation, so that so that he was more protected against like a fireball steal. So actually this would have been a great fireball five players and then this actually wouldn't have done much but you know this this is kind of the point i was making with like a pussy cage i expected ducky to go full pussy cage in the finals um not that i'm saying it was wrong not to of course it's just it's just you know that's all i was saying when i was i'm never too harsh i don't i don't think i'm being harsh or anything when i'm being harsh <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying what I think. Is this better? Was this the right play? Rather than, because it's hard to say something is good, isn't it? It's hard to say this was the right play or this was the wrong play. So I just like asking the question: Was this the right play? Like, was that was taking that hit the um, the thing there, uh, the right play there? You know. TF, can you not see it at the match? You not have better Twitch TV. If you've got better Twitch TV, then the TF things become um, becoming moats. Right. So again, he's just he's just pussing around, isn't he? Um, let's go for let's go for pussy fagors. Try to get a cas here. Oh shit, he's got block. All right, good. Do nothing anyway. Brilliant. I'm so pro. No oh, shit, I should have hit this guy. Oh well. It was pretty dumb, wasn't it, actually? Wow. 
I haven't gone forward very far, have I? And in fact, he's got as many removals as me. Just, just random no skill removal. I definitely prefer Claw Jug Scroll, dude. Hundred percent, I would go Claw Jugs. Yeah, I would just go Claw Jugs, hundred percent. And uh, yeah, of course, as Omidon says, the correct mind top build is not to bother. But if you go Claw first, like he's, if you start with a Mino. You basically only... He's going to get Claw. Yeah, but the thing is, though... The thing is, though, Fluffy Burrito, right? You do have seven Beastmen on your team that could be Blitzing instead without Loner. But they don't have even have Mighty Blow by the time he's got he's made his first level, probably. Which is why Claw Mighty Blow. Um, so so that's the thing. At low TV. At low TV when you do that. Um... <laughs> um <laughs> yeah. I'll try. I'll try soon, it. I'll try. <laughs> I'm I am absolutely super excited. Um I am absolutely super excited for the new MVP rules. I think they're absolutely fantastic. Because they're fun, they're more fun and they stop disparity in leagues, which is um You know, yeah, you know, not having cards as a standard part of the game. Yeah, obviously, that's a bit that's a bit bad for us, but good for other people. So you can't you can't just be selfish and say like, oh, because I want this, it would be better. There's plenty of people who want the random shit. So who are you to say they're wrong and you're right? As much as I agree with you, and I wouldn't want um, stupid shit like that either. Um, a lot of people do want the stupid shit. So, right, this this is a right fuck up here, wasn't it? I didn't, I didn't even go forward. Um, in fact, I can't actually protect the ball now. <laughs> um, oh my fucking god! Right, he wants to go here. Fucking hell. This is a nice spot for him, though. He can one dice me here. I pretty much can't stop it. And I've just got to get him blocked. I really fucked up switching sides, didn't I? Yeah, it didn't, it didn't really achieve anything. Um, apart from I hope his minor rolls, basically. Um, the new MVP rule is just amazing. I, I, the only argument about the new MVP is um, yeah, I could, I could have, I could have double or triple marked them, them. Yeah, yeah, that would have, that would have probably been better. Um, yeah, true, true. True. I probably should have double marked him, but I just didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't want to like. I just didn't want to put two there. So, but yeah, normally I do. I only like to double or triple mark one player. Um, but I, I think I felt like I needed. Oh shit! All right, Regen. I felt like I needed these guys here to keep these down. Um, and I needed that guy there to anchor that, otherwise he could have collapsed this in. So he, I think it was the right play. And ultimately, he did blitz this guy. If I had double marked him, he would have simply blitzed this guy and still made that block. And then, actually, his mine would have been in a more relevant position. So it works out. I think it worked out better the way it happened. But yeah, you, you're probably right at the mat. I probably should have double or triple marked him. Yeah. But the, the, but the dumb shit... 
More dumb shit in Blood Bowl is not necessarily a bad thing. It's only bad for people like us. Um, and and we're not the only people who play. So so there is that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm obviously all all for reducing dumb luck, especially in leagues. I mean, because, you know, how, how bad is this? Is, you know, I hate the MVP because there's no way, there's no gameplay in it. And it, again, is something that can disadvantage people, oh, my God, for, like, through no harm of their own, you know? You can just get one, two, three, four. You can get your best player killed. Um, and then he gets the MVP as well. Or like not even your best player, just a player killed in a league. The guy who gets his player killed, then he gets the MVP, and now he's like he's not only has he lost his player, he's also lost the MVP. Three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. That's probably the safest spot for him, isn't it? No, well, he could go there. So he can actually go here. Oh god, that wasn't that wasn't where I wanted to go at all. Um, they can come around the back now easily. Oh god. He's he's played quite well here by playing terribly. I'm just gonna stand up and take it. He's just let me let me push him around until he removes my players. <laughs> he ju he just makes Kaz and KOs while I do I do nothing with Claw Mighty Blow and then I randomly have to potato here. Thank you, Car Nilmo. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Ed the Mad, and 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 it's just stupid that the the snowball effect is so shit. Yeah, indeed, you could so do him. Yes, and but everyone else is doing the same, so it's fair, and it just it just stops that disparity in leagues where it's, where like um, where Schaefer in the UK BBL has made two MVPs on he had made two MVPs on flesh golems in five games. And I have played 20 games without getting an MVP on a flesh goal. And now this has really taken the piss, isn't it? <laughs> we're, we're trading. We're trading a Claw Mighty Blow Blitz for a nothing blitz. And he's made three removals to one. Um, but there you go. Including my Claw Mighty Blow now. It's it's in the tabletop. I've what? 28. It's in tabletop. Blood Bowl 2016. So it may never come into play on Cyanide. But some fucking bright sparks at Cyanide thought, I'll think of a better room myself. Why? Who asked, who asked VG fucking purist to fucking say, I don't approve of this rule? I, um... That wasn't a mighty blow blitz. Oh yeah, it was one time when he, when he made a stun, yeah. Yeah, sometimes he's might be mighty blow blitzing, but he's been block blocking a lot than making them with us. Um, I can't actually score this turn, can I? Fuck's sake! Pretty grim. <laughs> this is pretty fucking grim. Wow, I made a knockdown. Of course it was best Vagos. Of course, of course he makes the knockdown. Um I think this is as good as I can do here. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> now, 
that doing that first made me make an extra dodge as well. Let's see. Um. Exactly, Bizzle, yeah. Unfo unfortunately, VGP is one of the four or five people in the Blood Bowl community, yeah. The Blood Bowl community, which is fucking outrageous. Dodge and score. I'd have to dodge and blitz, get a pow. I'd have to make a three plus dodge and make a pow and make two GFIs. So the dodge and score, I think, was definitely the wrong play, Ed the Mad. Um... I think it, I think it does affect teams quite evenly because, you know, obviously teams like that have flesh golems, Nogal warriors, stuff like that. Um, yeah, as as Lord RK says, the teams with age elite two and one players that really need to level up really like the new MVP rule. But the only teams that don't have that are elves, which also really like it because they'll get a random touchdown or, or completion, a random completion on players and touchdowns and stuff. And then, so they they'll like it too. So basically, everybody, everybody benefits. All like you know, all it does is stop dumb shit. It stops people getting fucked over in leagues. Basically, that's the biggest thing. The biggest thing is that it stops people getting fucked over in leagues. Elves, I wouldn't say elves like it a lot less at all. Every yeah, every team's wants it on the guys who get stuck on two star play points forever. But everyone everyone gets that. So I think it's great. I think it's a great change for everyone. A great change for Blood Bowl. And long live the Agility 3. Um, the Agility 3, the 3 MVP rule. I think it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, Brett's, Brett's, Brett's get to target it on. You know, their, their random blocker who gets, an, uh, gets a Kaz can now get an MVP in level. Yeah, Brett's like it, definitely. Yep, I, I I would agree with that analysis, Squirrel Dude. Yep, Skaven like it for Storm Vermins. They always nominate both Storm Vermins, probably. Or if a random gut runner gets a completion and stuff. God, I can't believe he's he's just done nothing defensively, at all. Just literally nothing. And yet now. It's, it's, <laughs> he's somehow, it's just worked out for him. I don't even understand it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, what, what do I even do here? I have to make a block block. Okay, that's a pretty big stun, isn't it? And he can just fucking move back, so I've, I can't... I don't know what I can do. Blitz and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then he can just mine or blitz me. GFI, GFI. Then he can just assist and 2D me. Block here, blitz him back. I guess that's all I can do, isn't it? One, two, three. Blitz him. Go there. And then move him back here in GFI. One, two, three, GFI, GFI, yeah. So this, this guy blitzes. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. We should have followed, actually. I don't know. Leaving him there, they'll get him in the way there a little bit, doesn't it?
got two rerolls, so I might as well make this GF for me. Blocks him down. It's hard for him to get 2D on here, isn't it? He stands up. Hopefully I can make a breakthrough next time. Obviously this is 1 in 9 of it. And going down, that's too risky, I guess. No, I'm do I don't want to plan on two dodges, Fluffy Burrito. Way too risky. Yeah, lizard, lizards love it because they can they never have to rebuy their skinks, so they'll have money. Um, the claw, well, claw is nerfed by claw pom is nerfed, isn't it? Skinks don't get hit by tackle pom. Lizard men don't get hit by claw pom. Lizard. Lizard men didn't really take a lot of piling on anyway because you don't want to put a strength four movement six guy on the ground really a lot of the time agility one you know movement six strength four guy on the ground isn't the best play a lot of the time so yeah lizard men absolutely benefit and then they get the the target of MVP and the season rule keeps people low TV anyway so yeah I think lizard men probably come out of this pretty fucking top tier and obviously wood elves stay top tier. Um, you know, because they're just immensely strong from game one. Yeah, lizards, lizards definitely. Yeah, it's not a claw nerf, but it's claw pom nerf, isn't it? That's the thing. People having claw mighty blow is nowhere near as good as having claw mighty blow piling on. Are you okay? Just cut. Okay. What else? Ducky has fans. <laughs> the hybrids, yeah, Necro. Necro, Necro like it. Necro like it a lot because with one double Necro, 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 Claw Mighty Blow, the same as a fucking Beastman and stuff, aren't they? Elf teams, obviously. Um Yeah. I knew he was gonna do this. I can't believe how fucking shit this is. I can't believe how he just hasn't even tried to defend. <laughs> and yet it's just gone so fucking badly. It's unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. I've got to blitz this guy somehow. Right, he has to block him. If I block him, don't follow. I've got to get a power though, don't I? If it's a push, then what, what do I even do? Blitz him. That's what I do. If it's a push, then I'll go here, blitz him, and then dodge. If it's a pow, then I don't follow. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Yep. So it is a push. So I'd just push him away from there. And now committed to a committed to a dodge to score. And basically a pow. At least a push. Alright, good. Of course, Best Fagor doesn't let us down. Best Fagor. GG. Hope that means he's going to concede. Still got another chance for the other guy to come back. Is he in the chat? Because he said lol. He has conceded in his in one of his losses, so. Hmm. 
I don't understand why he played so bad at first and then started playing all right. It was pretty weird. He made no effort to do anything <laughs> for the first <laughs> four, five turns. And then I had to fucking roll dice to score in the end. Pretty crazy. Was there any chance of Best Fargo really <laughs> failing that? Um, yeah, I would have probably had to re-roll. Um, why not re-roll the push? Um, yeah, because I had because I had the chance of a the dodge thing there. Um, because if I'd re-rolled the push, then I would have had to have blitzed the other guy and made two GFIs. So. Um, it was better to go the other way, and if I'd go the if I'd gone the other way and got both down, um, I still think I could have dodged away, couldn't I? I don't, I can't remember. No uh, team can run zero rooms if they have best five guard. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> dwarf hate. Yeah, they'll beat some. It's a great rule set for dwarves as well, by the way. It's absolutely a great change for dwarves. There's no. There's no claw palm to hurt them. There's claw mighty blow, obviously, but um, it's brilliant for you know how many times do dwarves play their first game and three blockers get the cars, and then you just go, all right then, MVP for one of these three, guaranteed guard after game one, guaranteed guard after game two, almost like almost guaranteed guard after game one, and then almost certainly guaranteed guard after game two and three and four and five and and so it's really good change for dwarves. Really good change for lizard men. Um, really good for elves, which then in turn makes it bad for lizard men, but good for dwarves. So yeah, I think it's um, it's looking very good rule set for dwarves, Un unfortunately, <laughs> and I guess necro to an extent. But um, holy shit! And it's just weird because the 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 season, the season mechanic is just. You know that's what that's what defines Blood Bowl really in the new set, because people will be playing seasons, and most seasons will have very short seasons. Like um, in the OCC, is it nine games in a season? Um, in the UK BBL, it's eleven games in a season. In real life leagues, it's often going to be seven games in a season. So, really. Tabletop Blood Bowl is all going to be about seasons and just people staying low TV all the time. And um, what we play with this, you know, perpetual league is just nothing like what. It's going to be a very false and very, very different to tabletop. Yeah, maybe Squirrel Dude, maybe give them a bit, bit of a buff, dirty player or something. Yeah, gobbles, troll, troll, bomb, yeah, something like that. Both trees and random halfling, yeah. Yeah. And, like, it will make it easier to min-max and stuff in perpetual leagues, but who gives a fuck about that? It's a great, it's a great change for, like, scheduled leagues, which is everything what Blood Bowl 2016 is centred on. So, um, you know... It is what it is. Good old best Vagors. The down at 10 versus 11, despite 16 turns of Claw Mighty Blow hit. No, 8 turns of Claw Mighty Blow, and I got KO'd as well, so it wasn't. At least the Claw Mighty Blow came back. But God, it's annoying, isn't it? It's really annoying when your Claw Mighty Blow does nothing. The block, the block player removed, like, 3 players. And and the claw mighty blow guy removed one. Yeah, exactly, Bizzle. Yeah. Yeah, Dode Dode probably won't. Dode and VG Purist or the Blood Bowl community. What an absolute fucking joke. Um I think the catch is worth seventy K for eight two three seven. I would I would always take one. If they were armor seven, just for the one turn. So yeah, for sixty k, he's he's slightly cheaper, which is fine, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, Adji four would be a good trade off because, and then they could you, they could lose catch right. Um, this is the thing, and then what I would do is I would have it like second dead, where every catcher positional is like minimum eight two four seven, basically, and then the elves would have stuff like nerves of steel and catch, and whereas the humans wouldn't, the humans would just be eight two three seven eight two four seven dodge, gut runners would be nine two four seven dodge with mutation access. Um, you know, and then Wood Elf Catchers would have Catch and just actually be better at catching. Wood Elf Catchers would be the same. High Elf Catchers would then have, like, maybe not have the Sprint or whatever. Um, high Elf Catchers could actually be different because that they were actually Lion Warriors, weren't they? So the High Elf Catchers could be, just get a name change or something and remain Strength 3. Um... Zon catches would then be like eight two four seven. I think that'd be pretty good. If just all cat, you know, things were like that. That's what I'd like things to be like. But you know, I'm nobody. I'm I'm not part of the Blood Bowl two community. The Blood Bowl two community is Dode and VG Purist. So. Yeah, yeah, of course, the agility fall would probably make them better than Skaven, sure. Sure, but then the Skaven would... But then you could buff the Rat Ogre and stuff. So, like, and who... Yeah, the, the thing is, making them better than Cat Skaven, obviously you'd make them not too. You, oh, sorry, Ed the Mad, right? They wouldn't... If they were agility four, they wouldn't have catch, and you'd probably make them not too as well. So, yeah. So then there would be... You either get, get two gut runners or four gut runners. Um... Yeah, I did say, I did state they would lose catch, obviously. You, they, it would make no sense for them to have catch and agility for. That would be, that would be ridiculous. And yeah, and there's no rule. It's, but the, the danger is then, Bizzle, that if, if you have humans having four blitzers and four gutter runners, then it makes Skaven absolutely fucking shit. There's certainly an argument for that, and you don't want to completely invalidate rosters. Which is which was why they they nerfed ogres out of existence, because they thought, um, you know, they thought there's no point in running a goblin team when you can just run an ogre team. Yeah, yeah, human catches would definitely go zero or two. I mean that that's so obvious. I didn't even mention it. Oh, of course, it's a fucking push every fucking time. What a load of fucking cunt cock. Fuck's sake. Fuck's fucking... How can somebody just give you two dice on the fucking ball like this? How is that even fucking possible? Just go, oh, here, derp along. Just fucking straight up two dice the ball. No fucking effort required. And then I just get a fucking push. Jesus fucking Christ. Stop fucking fighting everything! Ah! I don't don't understand how people can do cannot even see that it was a GFI. If I made um, if I made two pals, it's a fucking GFI to hit his ball. No fucking movements needed. Holy fucking shit! Doesn't give a shit. Not punished. Unbelievable, Jeff. Grinds my gears. I've got four then, I guess. Fuck it. No good to push, push back. They're my favourite. Oh yeah, another push. I love pushing. Push, 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 push. <laughs> Hello, the last saga. <laughs> oh shit! Brutal. That was that your was that your strength four pom witch ducky? No way. No, because I'd have a GFI sword of the morning. If I had VIP sword of the morning, fagors. Um, 
I couldn't re-roll for the POW because I didn't have blocks. It was a 1 in 9 of it, just a straight-up turnover. But also, I couldn't then risk the GFI into... Um, into. If I didn't need a GFI to hit him, I would have maybe maybe thought about it. Um, but it's only 55% to get the POW. I don't think that's worth a re-roll, to be honest. Level 5 Rackless Strip Ball. That's not so bad then, Ducky. Yep, that's true, El Mato. That is true because they're, they're looking at the stats saying, oh, look, Bretts are doing great just because Ducky and that other guy played them all the time. It was fucking stupid. This is Doden's his stats, though, isn't it? I mean, it's really true that Ducky is going to get Bretts nerfed because he wins too much. And then and then Plasmoid's like, how did... How did um how did how did my Bretts win win this tournament? It's like your fucking Bretts didn't your Bretts didn't win this tournament. Fucking plasmoid. Ducky won this tournament. He would have won it. Whatever team he fucking used, he happened to be using your shithead one. But if he had used a real team, he'd have won it with them as well. So fuck off with your shitty fucking shit. Right, I can block him here, can't I? And then 2D the ball. Randomly. I've got to block here first, haven't I? Mm, more pushing. Oh, he's a, he's a, he's a bigger boy. Alright, that's no problem. Loner block. Hey, didn't fail. So the question is, do I make two two GFIs so the Mino can't just fucking block me out the turn afterwards? Um, because I don't really want to just fucking get powered by the Mino, do I? I think I make the two GFIs. <laughs> Best fago! <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh. Yeah, well done. Oh, go on. Fuck it, I'll re roll it. Oh my god. Huge, huge reroll, wasn't it, in the end? That could have been my guy getting injured. And then, seeing as I've got a screen here, I think it's worth making this dodge to mark the mark the mino, because otherwise it's just a free, it's a free blitz, isn't it? Not so easy to take down best Fagors now. Best Fagor. <laughs> Shit's on this prick Fagor. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Spubba. You got them better than all the real teams. That's the thing. I think somebody was saying on Reddit about me complaining that, um, that like, I wish, I wish Bretts weren't in the game. But obviously I meant the opportunity cost as well of um I'm sure they are flash binder yeah yeah <laughs> um yeah that's that's the worst thing spubber yeah well, well, hello spubber by the way the the check out spubber's um spubber's fucking what's it called blog on fumble and on instagram as well he's on instagram it's fucking unbelievable teams spubber makes tabletop teams absolutely outrageous um, no cake or death. TV plus is just matching. This is TV plus matching cake or death. Um, I'm absolutely not wrong about TV plus. I this is TV plus matching, not actual TV plus. So, no is the I'm not wrong is the very very simple answer to your question there, because this is not TV plus. 
This is TV plus matching. Right. Concession. Best Fagors doesn't even get the score. Why is he re-rolling all the lone rolls? Because he's the uh, yeah, he's he's obviously he's somebody who's new to the game, as um as Fashbinder loves to say. It probably is. Oh wow, 140k finally. Oh shit. Right, he was a journeyman. Another journeyman. Another journeyman. I didn't kill anybody. Well, that's okay. And an MVP there, and an MVP there is pretty good as well. Faggers is best race confirmed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Morgan's TV, with the Brett Faggers. Yeah, they were they are the best race. It's true. I mean the fact that the fact that Ducky is is twenty twenty one to one or whatever with, with a real team. Um but yeah. Thank you very much, Morgan's TV. It's very funny, isn't it, that basically the weakest race in Blood Bowl two is the team that won the won the Champions League season one. Right, what stats he gonna get? Do you reckon? <laughs> right. Yeah, I should do a tutorial to help these new players. I should bizzle. Maybe I should do it Tuesday, shouldn't I? Eh? Um, yeah, Voodoo Mike and Dodds TV Plus Plus was and still probably is the worst idea ever in Blood Bowl. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, right. Level up. What stats do you reckon? Agility. Agility, or um, another strength, or movement, or a double. Movement? It, it's got to be movement, hasn't it? It's just, it just has to be. Because it's not even bad. It's not even bad getting movement on him. Um, it does make 20 star player points before he gets... Um, 20 star player points before he gets sure hands or dodge. Um, but I think the movement is is really good with strength four. To be honest, I think that's absolutely fine. Yeah, it's I've got to take it. I just got to take it. It's too it's too it's too much fun as well as being good. I mean, if imagine if he gets plus agility next, and then dodge and sure hands, then he would be pretty much perfect. I think the perfect one actually wouldn't have strength. I think the perfect. Pestigore carrier would be movement eight, strength three, agility four, blood sure hands. But seven four four eight, blood sure hands would be pretty fucking close. Um, there you go. Yeah, actually. Um, <laughs> oh god. Um, right. So. Let me let me first before I do that fash binder, I will um I will buy another Pestigore. Who who should this Pestigore be? Do you know what? Do you know what? Obviously, as a tribute to the current champion, let's have Ducky Fagor. All right, we've got Ducky Fagor as the um, as the third Pestigor. Um, so now I've got nine players, which is good, isn't it? I'm not going to spend the money though. Keep it in case of what's it called, Warrior dies. Um, and if I'd had the targeted MVP, oh, I guess it was a concession. But without the concession, the target MVP would mean would have meant an MVP on this guy, this guy, or one of these two. Which would have been it would it would really help teams like Nurgle and stuff. Um, a pretty decent Fagor. <laughs> Plasma is Brett's Fagor. Right, so there you go. That was a that was a nice win, wasn't it? Anyway, um, right. I mean, it, obviously, it was it was easy because he conceded, but still, wins a win. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.